Hey there, Abiding Fam, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey Lee, and in today's video, I wanted to sit down and share with you two resources that I recently discovered when looking for a Bible and prayer journal for my mom. Some of you already know that my mom has been struggling with some health issues recently, and it's just having a really difficult time, both physically and mentally. I wanted to give her a gift that would point her toward the only thing that can really help anyone through difficult circumstances, and that, of course, is our God. So while I don't personally have really great words of comfort to offer her, I do know a place where she can find that, and that, of course, is in the Word of God. So I was really looking for a Bible and prayer journal that would specifically speak to her in this season of hardship and difficulty, and I think I found two really great resources that I wanted to share with you as well. If you are somebody who is also in a season of struggle right now, if you are grieving, if you are ill, if you are just having difficult circumstances and you feel like you are alone and no one really understands what you're going through, I want to first of all encourage you to take heart. As John 16 33 says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And that is a fact of this life that we live. Becoming a Christian does not mean that things are going to be easier. In fact, in many times, they become harder. And that's why I think these resources are going to be an especially strong gift for somebody who is struggling and searching for God's comfort and wanting to learn more about him and what his word says about these difficult seasons we all go through. So I'm just going to give you a little walkthrough of these two items that I have here. The first is the Take Heart Prayer Journal from Encourage, a day spring community. And then the other item that I want to share with you is the One Step Closer Bible. This also is a day spring product, but it was a Bible created in partnership with Candace Cameron Burr. But this video is in no way sponsored by day spring. These were not gifted to me to give a review. I honestly just found them on Amazon. I liked the way they looked together. I thought they seemed like really good resources and things that would be perfect for this particular season to gift to my mom. And so I got them, and then when I got them, I thought, why don't I share these with the abiding fam? I'm going to share these with you, give you a little peek into them and my thoughts of each item. And then do stay tuned until the end of this video because I have a little gift for you guys if you make it all the way to the end. But first, let's dive into these resources. So first, I want to share with you this Take Heart prayer journal that I think is just a fantastic resource for anybody who is just going through a difficult season right now. It has a gorgeous cover, first of all, that just would look beautiful sitting out on your coffee table or your nightstand with this beautiful pink peach color and then the navy in the back and then it has the foiling for the title of Take Heart and then on the spine as well it has foil where it says a prayer journal and then you have the title. And then on the back cover, we have the verse, John 16, 33. That is really the heart behind the entire book. And then it has a little explanation of Encourage, which is the Dayspring community that created this journal. And they have a bunch of other different products as well. And in the back of the journal, it actually has a little explanation of the Encourage community of women and some of the other products they offer, like their devotional. But the journal itself is actually very simple in its layout, which is why I think it makes for a great gift because it's not super overwhelming because every page is pretty much the same. But the difference is that every page has a different verse, a different truth for the day, and a different little quote down in the corner here. And then in terms of the journaling portion, of each page. It has a section to write what you're grateful for, 
and a section to write your prayer requests. So it keeps it very simple in that respect, which I really appreciate. And as I was looking through this journal, I was really impressed by the scriptures that were selected and the way that it used those scriptures to create a central truth for each day, just as a reminder and a point of reflection for the user of the journal. So for example, this one is in Jeremiah and it says, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. And then the truth for the day is I'm blessed because I trust in the Lord and have confidence in Jesus. And then the quote that accompanies it is God wants all of us to experience his abundance. And so they're very, very simple little quotes and reminders in the corners and very simple truths for the day as well. But at the same time, it kind of in some ways gives you not only a really helpful reminder, but a prompt for you to think about as you're journaling what you're grateful for, which is always important when you're going through a season of suffering and difficulty is to have a space to praise God because there's always something to be grateful for even when things are incredibly difficult. And then of course, in those seasons, we should be turning to God through prayer. And so that is what this section is for as well. And so I just really think that this is going to be a wonderful resource for my mom. I love the look of it. And I think that these little snippets of truths and pairing it with scripture that she can then go to the Bible and look at more deeply will be really beneficial. And I just wanted to share this with you as well in case you or somebody you know is also going through a really difficult season and needs those reminders and a space to talk with God about your difficulty so that you too can take heart. And then as I said, I wanted to pair the journal with a Bible. This Bible is not necessarily geared to somebody who is going through difficult seasons, though it definitely, I think, could be beneficial for that, but is more so, I think, geared to somebody who is maybe just starting out in Bible study and who maybe just needs a little bit more guidance in where to look in the Bible for things that are relevant to their life today, to make those connections between the Bible and our lives today. And this One Step Closer Bible, I think, does a really great job at that. It comes in a really nice little box. And when you open it, you can kind of see that it has the same color palette as the Take Heart Journal. So these products are in no way made to go together, but I was keeping that in mind when looking for a Bible with this prayer journal that I wanted something that would just also look nice together. And I happened to find this beautiful Bible that is a navy imitation leather and it has this really polished and classy hexagon little design on it, which I think is beautiful. It has gold foiling and then it has a little emblem there that I think is supposed to be kind of a play off of Candace's name. And then it continues that design on the back as well. And then if you look at the spine, it has One Step Closer Bible on it and the little Dayspring logo and NLT for the New Living Translation, which is the translation this Bible is in. So it's really a gorgeous Bible. And then it has gold foiled edges for the pages. And I also like that you can kind of see here where it's a little bit different here. That's because these pages are a unique thing about this particular Bible that I'm going to share with you guys in a moment. But to give you an overview of this Bible, I think it helps to look at the back of the box, which has a little quote from Candace on it that talks about her experience with the Bible. And then it talks about your questions, your needs, your concerns. And that is really, in some ways, what this Bible is meant to help you do. And the way that this Bible does that is it has this help finder index. And as it says here, this provides instant access to thousands of verses and notes on more than 100 key topics that are important and relevant for your life today. And then within the different books of the Bible, 
and by the actual text, it has nearly 500 in-text application notes on specific needs that help you understand how the truths you read in God's Word apply to your personal situation. And then the other nice thing about this Bible is it has introductions for each book that have an outline of the book and key verses that help you to focus on the needs of concerns that are addressed in the book. And then also it has call-outs that highlight promises throughout the Bible as well. And then as I said, it is the New Living Translation, which I think is wonderful as well for somebody who is newer possibly to reading the Bible because it is very easy to understand. I do want to put a little disclaimer in here that while I think this is a really fantastic tool and it is really important to understand how the Bible applies to our lives today and how it remains relevant yesterday, today, and always, I do think that a Bible like this can tempt you to think about the Bible as something that is meant to serve you and that is telling your story and is something that you should only go to to look for life application from. And I do want to put out there that that is not the purpose of the Bible. The Bible is God's story. And so that's just really important for us to remember that the Bible is ultimately about God. It is not supposed to be about us, even though, of course, our God is a loving God who wants to help us through our life. So with that said, I'm going to give you a little flip through of the Bible. As you can see, it has a really beautiful pale pink peachy color on the inside here. And then it has a presented to page. And then at the front here, it has a few full color pages that are really nice and glossy, kind of like magazine pages that have a little welcome from Candace explaining her reason for creating the One Step Closer Bible. And I really like how she talks about it here because she also talks about the Bible not as something that is meant to speak into our stories and supposed to be just used as a reference book to help us through difficult days, but is in fact a transformational book because it shows us how much we are loved by our creator. And then I love how she describes how to use the Bible on this page because she talks about how the tools she included in this Bible are really just different ways to draw closer to God through his word, that they're basically just on ramps in a way to studying God's word, that they're ways to easily access it and then dig in deeper once you start with that specific topic or a research question or a particular issue in your life that you're struggling with. And if you find that in the help index, then you can use that as a way to enter in to God's word and hopefully study it more richly and deeply. And then we have a quote here and on the next page is the title page with the beautiful hexagon design again. And then there is a contents page with the Old Testament and the New Testament and then it has all of the different resources that are available in the back. So then we have the Old Testament and of course we start with Genesis and this is an overview of Genesis. So it has just a little explanation of the book. And then I really like how each book starts with a list of key verses. And then it talks about what you'll be reading about. So what kind of is the outline of Genesis is described here. And then we have the description of it. And then after the description, there are key verses in that book of the Bible that are listed as well. And then it just gets right into the text. And as you can see, it is double columns, but it is also a journaling Bible. It has a little column here in the margins for you to take notes. And it is very lightly lined, which is a nice feature. This is definitely a Bible that I think would hold up to basic pens and highlighters, but it is definitely thinner pages that I probably wouldn't do intense Bible journaling with a bunch of different mediums in this Bible, but use it more as a general study Bible. And then here in Genesis, you can see as well the different features 
like the in-text topics. So for example, rest, and it has a little explanation of where we see the topic of rest in Genesis 2, 1 through 3. And then you see these different topics pulled out throughout the individual books of the Bible here, built right into the margins and identified by these grayer boxes with the little blue bars at the top. And then it has basically like a little devotional explanation of how that topic is seen in this book of the Bible. So it's a really, really neat feature. I just love this so much and it doesn't shy away from harder topics either. Like here you can see the topic of abortion and how Genesis speaks into that. And then the other feature of this Bible that I mentioned are the promises from God. And that's just a way of focusing in on specific verses that are directly promises. And so it is pretty amazing how you see these little in-text explanations of specific topics throughout all of the books of the Bible. And then here also is an example in the New Testament with Matthew. You can see again the really wonderful outline. And as you can see, the text itself is a really readable font size. I think it's very easy to read and you don't have a lot of shadowing despite the pages being very thin. You can read it very easily without a lot of shadowing from the other side. And then again, you have the key verses and the topics. And then the other thing to note about this Bible once you get into the New Testament is that it is a red text Bible. So when Jesus is speaking, they use the red text to denote that, which is really, really helpful, I think. And then really quickly, I want to just show you guys the back of this Bible and some of the resources that are there, which essentially just point you to the different things that you see throughout the Bible itself. So the first feature is this help finder, which is really easy to get to because it has it denoted here on the side of the pages so that you can find it easily. And these topics in here are arranged alphabetically, and then each topic includes a summary, several questions that help put your need into words, a list of Bible verses to look up that will speak directly to that particular issue or topic, and then often there is a short comment to help apply those verses to your life. So in some way it kind of acts like a little bit of a devotional element here in the back as well. And what I love about the help finder is that it is question based. So while there is a topic and then that topic also points to other topics you might look at as well that are related, it then has questions related to that topic that you may be asking about yourself and they are written in first person so that it really has that personal touch. And each topic is really covered at length. As you can see, this is not just a little section on addiction, for example, as one of the topics, but it has more than two pages devoted just to this topic. And then it also encourages you to see other topics that might be related, such as desires, guilt, lust, and temptation. Some other topics in here are adoption, adversity, advice, anger, anxiety, a huge one of course. There is topics like atheism and how we handle that. The topic of the Bible of course is so important. Why is it important to read the Bible? How often should we read it? Can we trust the Bible as God's word? All really important questions with verses that we can look at for the answers. And that's what's so amazing about this is that it's not pointing you to anything else. It's pointing you to the Bible. Every time you look up a subject, it's pointing you back to the word of God. If you look at blessings, it's not pointing you to external resources. It's not pointing you to look within yourself or your own truth. It is pointing you back to the truth of God. As I said, this Bible is going to be a gift for my mom. So something I want to do is go through the help finder and identify a few key topics that I think are pertinent to her and what she's going through right now. So that way she has immediately a place to start. And that might be a great idea for you as well if you plan on gifting this Bible for somebody who's dealing with very specific issues, whether that's addiction, anxiety, whether they are struggling with their faith and are wondering if God is real, all of those topics are covered in here. And so you can identify those and give this to them 
as that starting place. So for example, for my mom, I plan on pointing her to this section on healing that has questions like, does God care when I am sick? What is a positive way I can respond in times of personal sickness? What is my responsibility toward those who are sick? What is the greatest danger to my health? How can God use my sickness in a positive way? How do I keep my soul in good health? How can my attitude affect my health? What do I need to be healed? How does God heal? What kind of healing does God do today? Why doesn't God always heal people? How do I deal with it when I'm not healed? And if I'm not healed, does this mean I do not have enough faith? Wow, those are all just such good questions. And I love, I love, love, love that it is pointing us to scripture to find those answers and those promises from God directly. I just think this is such an amazing tool. I am very tempted to get one of these for myself because I think it's just a great addition to anybody's spiritual walk to be able to have this help finder as a resource when we are really struggling with a specific topic. I am very, very impressed by this. And then as if all that wasn't enough amazing things about this Bible, there are a few more resources. The first is this great Bible passages to study and memorize, which is a really helpful tool. If you're trying to memorize scripture, you can just walk through this list and practice memorization. And then it also has great Bible stories for discovering God's truth and tells you what the story is and what page to look for it on. And then at the back, there's just a note to the readers from the publishers and an introduction to the New Living Translation. And that is the end of the Bible, again, with the beautiful color combination at the back. And then the other great design element about this Bible is that there are three, count them, three bookmark ribbons. How amazing is that? I think that is so helpful, especially with the indexes in the back to be able to mark those as well as the book of the Bible that you're reading. And the colors are just gorgeous because they match that color palette of the navy and pink as well. Goes so well together. I cannot believe how well these go together. Like, these basically were made for each other. And I am really excited to share these resources with my mom. And as I said, I think that they make for a great gift or just for yourself if you are struggling through difficult seasons or honestly for any time. Because let's be honest, we're all going to face struggles at some point. We all need to be reminded of God's promises and to take heart and I think that these are two amazing resources to do exactly that. So this video was a little bit longer than I intended, but I really wanted to give you a deep dive into these two resources because I do believe that they are so, so helpful. And I pray that if you choose to get them, that they would bless you. I do have links to them in the description box, of course. And if you use those links, it does help out my channel a little bit as well, so I would appreciate that. Thank you so much if you've watched all the way to this point in the video. And if you did, you are in luck because I have something very special for you, and that is a giveaway. Gift giving is definitely my love language. It is how I show I care to the people I love most in this world. And that is why I am sharing these resources with my mom as a way of showing her how much I care for her, and also, of course, just because I think they're fantastic and I hope will help her through this difficult season. But if you too are going through a difficult season, I want to share a little bit of joy with you as well. And to do that, I am partnering with Artsa, who you all know I love, and they so kindly offered to share a little bit of the Holy Land with one of you. If you're not familiar with Artsa, they are an amazing subscription box company that puts together quarterly boxes of amazing handcrafted artisan items directly from the Holy Land. Each item is hand selected by the Artsa team to include in their boxes to represent a specific area of the Holy Land. So they've done Bethlehem, Nazareth, and this most recent box is Galilee, 
And that is the box that one of you will be receiving with some of these gorgeous items. They have this amazing ceramic bowl that is my absolute favorite handmade candles, a beautiful, delicious smelling handmade soap, and then lots of edible goodies as well for you to have fun in the kitchen. And of course, most importantly, it is educational as well because the whole point of it is to give you a taste of where Jesus walked. How amazing is that? So they give you amazing resource cards to learn more about these areas of Israel and the Holy Land. So thank you so much, Artsa, for sending me one of these boxes and for allowing me to share this amazing treat with the abiding fam. In order to enter, you do need to be a resident of the U.S. and you do need to be obviously subscribed to my channel and a part of the abiding fam directly in that way. And then the only other things I would ask of you is that you would head over to Artsa to learn more about them and make sure that you are following them on Instagram. They are at Artsa Box, where you can learn more about them, learn more about the other boxes and the mission and heart of their business. And then come back here and leave a comment down below with your favorite verse in the Bible that reminds you to take heart. So whatever promise of God reminds you to take heart, please share that down below as a reminder to us all. And then the last thing I would ask of you all is to please pray for my mom if you would be so kind and willing. And feel free to leave your own prayer requests in the description box as well if you're going through a difficult season. And make sure that you like each other's prayer requests to let them know that we all are praying for them too. All of the giveaway details are in the description box. I'll be closing the giveaway on August 11th and then announcing a winner on Friday over on my Instagram as I post and in my stories and here on the community tab as well. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram and paying attention to my accounts on Friday the 13th. So thank you so much, fam, for watching this video. I would so appreciate it if you would like and join the Abiding Fam by hitting that subscribe button, and I will look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Until then, keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life abiding in faith, hope, and love. <laughs>